So guys, so today we're gonna check out a video today. Is this one is called Charles Barkley and Shaq Funniest Moment from January 2022. Hashtag Inside the NBA. Now I'm a fan of the Inside the NBA program. I love it when Shaq and Charles Barkley they like to go out of here and there and have their heated debate or and then Kenny Smith would jump in and shit like that. I mean. And shit is the funniest thing that I ever seen, man. I love watching inside the NBA, man. So that's just Charles Barkley, man. Charles Barkley, he cracks me the fuck up, man. And he don't care. He don't care how you feel, whatever. He gonna tell you how it is. And if you don't like it, you can watch somewhere else. Okay, that's Charles Barkley for you. He don't give a shit. You know, I'm a, I have respect for guys like that. Guys like Shaq and Charles, well, you know, that they don't, they, they just speak their minds, you know. So I've been watching basketball from time to time here and there, so I've been catching up with the playoff and stuff. So anyway, let's go check this video out or compilations, whatever you want to call it. I know this is going to be good. And they'll be hosting the Indiana Pacers later tonight. What oh, oh, come on. <laughs> That's how I clean my desk. I'm going to get a wet party. Like, don't touch what you Nasty. That's why. That's what Georgia themed edition of the uh, of the steam room. Oh, no, no, no. It, 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 uh, it's an issue with your head, man. That's a squash over there. Oh, it's a squash. Smart people got big heads. A lot of brain matter up there. Yeah, oh, man. A lot of what? A lot of brain matter. Oh, it's it's a, brain matter. Big head, big head, big head, bigger, big head. Bigger, bigger, big ass. Big ass. The shop has Chuck Benjamin. This looks like Chuck, ain't it? Chuck, Sir Chuck. Chuck, 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 Other photos were found, which apparently, I guess none of us were uh, immune to this. Oh, uh, stop it. <laughs> oh, no, that's Barkley. <laughs> that's Barkley. That's <laughs> Uh, Kenny the Jet Smith running to the video wall. I'm a chair, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I'd like that if you go in. Let's get the sports. That's funny. The Lakers are such wussies. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember he called them out. I was laughing. He called out the damn Lakers, the reporters, the people from ESPN. He called them out, man. That shit made me laugh so hard. Oh, man. Well, that was just as bad as Kazam. What better way to lead into a. That is Kazam. And Kenny has always said. Uh, the biggest regret. I was asking them, but I don't tell you. What's he gonna do? I'm just keep it real. Hey, go that way, man. Does anybody remember Kazam? I don't think so. Not too many people really remember Kazam. Hey, you just better off than do all of them beignets. Things are just hard and very dumb. Hey, I'm gonna put it down on that diet I was on at one point. It's good to spit it out. It's a horrible advice. Hey, man, got no food. What was the thing? What did you do to Shaq? But say, this is a real question of somebody who was having a weight problem, and you've been called around round mountain about that. Yeah. Hey, can I give a shout out, Ernie? Please do. What are you done talking about this game? Um, yeah. The war is good. The Minnesota Temple is not. That's great analysis. I have to agree with that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we just said. We're yeah, good, like, Timber Wolves is not. You know who's speaking to us. I just, I so listen, listen here, Mumbles. Uh, <laughs> mumbles. You just tell me, get the ball. I just, he calls you Mumbles. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some shenanigans sure. going on around this place. Sure, sure. Uh, he's so. missing. I'm not talking. He's missing. I had to do more of this, man. I had to do more. I brushed my teeth at halftime. So I went to brush my teeth because my keys were gone. I didn't touch your keys. Yeah, well, clearly you did. Clearly you did. It's locked. Oh, I got his keys. Locked the door. I guess I get all that crap with my truck. I said, dude, stole my keys. 
So I look at his locker, I'm like, and it pulled up its keys in there. <laughs> his keys are, I'm going to give him a clue. They in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Listen, America, we got the dumbest people in the history of television working here at Turner. We all got lockers. <laughs> the secret out. And the damn code is our birthday. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Oh, and Jerry, uh, Jerry Shark here. I'm, I'm he like, know who it is. He know who it is. It's <laughs> cold. I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> we have this thing going great. Uh, Jerry, my uh, Dr. O'Neill here, you don't need a specialist. You just need to go to Walgreens get some of that icy hot. <laughs> Man, Jerry, <laughs> <Draymond. laughs> Walgreens. You know, I'm also going to go in there, Jim. What do you think, Shutter? I'm thinking about that pretty girl who makeup came on. She doesn't. Uh, that's what we're all stars. She's not looking good. Interesting way to put that. Trey Young, truly blessed. Thank you to the fans. Always love. Chuck, you to Twinkies be quiet sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you should have started before. Thank you, Trey. You should get that out the way. Yeah, you should. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. 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 Went to LSU. Uh-huh. He's talking my first year, second, third year. Uh, played Duke very well. You didn't start your first year? No, I was talking my first year. You didn't start out about me? You didn't start in college? I got to the NBA. You didn't start in college. And I met my first year, I didn't start. But the second, third year, I was 25, 26. Wait, you're a McDonald's All American and didn't start in college? Well, I'm anyway, Jeff, if you went to college, I'm interrupting him. Uh, cutting him off. No, he's dead. We both know that. I don't know. I got three SEC champions. No, you got nine dead. Uh, I don't know if Morant, 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 whatever. Uh, I told you, I don't even like the kid because anybody can't have a two-letter two name can't be real. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, John Morant. How about how many people put the ball there? I'm 12 o'clock to this day. I'm going to stab both of them. Yeah, but we're not going to cry. That's why I said 12. That's why I said that. That's why I said that. We're going to buy it by that. I know. Okay. So, 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 you got to come up with a, a first and middle name. Ernest Maverick. No, nobody's naming their kid Ernie. Ernest Maverick. <laughs> Nobody's naming their kid. Maverick, I like it. Wait, why would you name your kid Ernie? I didn't. Okay. I'm just saying she should. Yo. I don't name your kid Ernie. Might as well be called Henry. What's wrong with Henry? Yeah, no, don't name your kid Henry. Sorry, Mr. Aaron. But no, no, I'll let you know. Uh, yeah, uh, man, Charles has no chill, man. Ben he don't give a shit, man. He don't give a shit, man. The He's going to speak what's on his mind, and you can take it or leave it. And now, oh. the end is near, though I face a final curtain. Try to stay with the music, Chester. <laughs> I did it my way. Wow. One of the greatest things I heard. Was and no about, fist pump. I was actually doing a game back then. He said, I said, when did Kawhi Leonard become a great player? And I've been here 20 years. I've heard this story 20 times. Tell the people a different story. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Go ahead and finish it. Uh, what did he say? Go ahead. Tell me what he said. Listen, four eyes. I'm going to talk Four eyes. Four eyes. All six eyes. Six eyes. I said, when did Kawhi become a great player? He said, when I learned, he learned. Hey, we've already heard this story. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. 15, 45 is late. Time score. <laughs> 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 tastes good, spit it out. <laughs> tastes good, spit it out. Oh, I gotta do more of this, man. I gotta do more. I don't know if you, you know, if, you know, if you guys want me to do more, I definitely gotta do more. So, you know, I gotta do this. Let me know in the comments below. Oh man, this one was good, man. Charles Barkley is absolutely hilarious, man. The way how you said things, man, it is absolutely hilarious. My gosh, man. Man, I gotta tell you, it, to me, with with Shaq and Charles Barkley, I mean, they, when when them two had them chemistry together, man, they, they, they bring out the fun, you know? And of course, you got Kenny Smith and Ernie Johnson, you know? The two, I guess you could say, two of the... I guess uh, uh, more mature or 
more of the calm the calm ones they're they're usually already either ernie or kenny they're more calmer than than shaq and, and charles so man and then shaq was my favorite player of all time i mean man with shaq people man Shaq was dominant, man. Especially from the late... In my opinion, to me, I think his best years... I mean, yeah, it was the Magics. But when he went to the Lakers and when he was big... Man... You need a couple people to get on top of Shaq. And you better open pray that... Man, it, one, uh, one guy wasn't going to do it. One guy. You had to be as big as he was to, to guard Shaq. If you were gonna be on the center, oh man, I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be the guy guarding Shaq in the paint. That has to be scary, especially when he, man, especially when he that Laker run that he had, man. Shaq was my favorite. I'm, you know, I have my top three. I got my top three, you know, favorite NBA players of all time. One is obviously Michael Jordan. Second is Kobe Bryant, and then third would be Shaq. All in not in order, you know. Just Mike, Kobe, and Shaq. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, of course. Mamba mentality, of course. The Black Mamba. But uh, yeah, man, Charles, man. Some people don't, you know. Not too many people really remember who Charles was. I mean, Charles in the nineties and late eighties. That dude, man. Man, he was, he was not, I mean, not as dominant as Shaq was, but that Charles, man, he, he loved to score on you, and he loved to, he loved to play rough on you, and just take you up to pieces and shit, I mean, man, especially with the, the Dream Team, I, I think Charles' best year, I think it probably would have been the, the Phoenix Suns, because he had his, you know, he, he had his pretty good run. And he was the MVP in 1993, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so, you know, I think that was his best, those were his best year. Like Shaq, Shaq's his best year was Lakers. Although, you know, we had him in Miami Heat. I think, I still think he was better. His best years was, in, was with the Lakers, in my opinion. You know, so, you know, who was you guys' favorite NBA players of all time? Let me know in the comments below. Also... You know, what do you guys think of Inside the NBA? Put that on the comments as well. And if you enjoy my reaction to Inside, to to this funniest moments of Inside the NBA, you can go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you guys click on the notification bell so that way you guys can get more coming videos in the near future. And if there's any videos you guys want me to react to do a challenge, you can always just leave it on the comment section down below. Alright guys, well, until next time, peace out.